Hello, uh, welcome to today's video on trigonometry. Uh, today we're going to introduce the idea of what trigonometry is uh, and explain a bit about the trig functions as well. Okay, so let's define what trigonometry is. And trigonometry is the study of the relationships between uh, the angles and the side lengths of a right angled triangle. Okay, so we can actually relate uh, side lengths or their ratios of sides and the angle that's between them. Okay, so this is a branch of mathematics uh, that relates to geometry and specifically it involves right angled triangles. Now we'll see later in the video that right angled triangles uh, come up in nature and, and physics and science and engineering quite a lot, so it's important that we can understand it. Uh, and the three main functions here are the sine, cosine, and tangent functions, which you might have seen on your calculator as sin, cos, and tan, or sine, cos, and tan. Okay, first of all, we're going to define a right angled triangle. Okay, so we've got there a triangle with a right angle with that square there. And also we'll, uh, we've got theta there. So that's the angle that we're concerned with. That's a Greek symbol, that theta symbol, and it's written in degrees there. The longest side of a triangle is the hypotenuse. That's always opposite to the right angle. The adjacent is next to that theta. It's always next to that theta. And the opposite is on the other side of that theta, on the opposite side of that theta, okay? So let's see with these other triangles, we see if we can spot the hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse here in each is opposite on the other side to that right angle here. So H for hypotenuse. The adjacent, adjacent, the word adjacent actually means next to. So adjacent houses are houses that are next to each other. So the adjacent is uh, next to that theta. And the opposite, or O, is always on the other side of that theta, or other side of that angle, okay? So that's, first of all, we kind of need to understand those definitions of O, A, and H, okay? All right, let's have a look at the sine function, okay? So it's written in your calculator as sin, but we pronounce it sine. So if we think of each of these things as a function or a little box in which we um, put an input and we get an output, okay? So our input for the sine function would be an angle and our output is the side ratio O over H. So it tells us that sine of a theta, so we put sine, uh, apply sine to a angle and we get O over H or the opposite over the hypotenuse as a ratio, okay? Now let's have a look at the cosine or cos function, okay? Similarly here, we just put in an angle for cos and what it actually gives us is a decimal value that gives us the side ratio between the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So it will give us the ratio of the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. Okay, so cos of an angle theta, so cos of an angle will equal A divided by H or A divided adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay, and the third and final function is the tangent function. Okay, another way of saying it's the tan function. So here if we insert, insert a particular angle, uh, similar with the others, we'll get the side ratio of uh, O over A, okay? So opposite over adjacent, okay? And with all these, um, with all these ratios, uh, it just produces, um, all these ratios kind of relate to a similar triangle in that um, if we double the side lengths of all the triangles, it will be uh, a similar triangle and therefore the ratio will actually still the say, stay the same, sorry, for a given particular angle, okay? So why do we need trigonometry, or what's it useful for, okay? So this second part of the video, I'm gonna go through just a few quick explanations or quick examples of why we might use trigonometry. First of all, basically we can convert angles to side lengths, or we can kind of work out calculations based on angles, uh, to work out side lengths and vice versa, okay? So we can use the ratios of the side lengths uh, to work out angles. So first of all, we might have this 
Uh, guy looking up at the top of the tree, 25 degrees up, and it's 20 meters to the base of the tree. We might use trigonometry, in fact, to actually work out the height of the tree. Okay, so we can see opposite and adjacent there, and 25 degrees, so we could use tan to help us work out the height of the tree. Okay, similar example here, slightly different. What if you're driving in a car and you go 15 kilometers north, then 25 kilometers east? Uh, what is the bearing or what angle do you make from the start from north uh, to get to the final destination there? So that's a really useful thing in terms of uh, bearings, uh, directions, um, and that kind of thing. So using a map and seeing which direction you're going. So the third one here might be you're an, a carpenter or an industrial designer or that kind of thing. You're making a doorstop and you've got a 28, 27 degree angle doorstop. You've got 18 uh, centimeter length. So what might be the hypotenuse and the opposite side for that particular doorstop? Okay, the third example here is a bit more tricky. But if we had a boat and we crossed a river at 20 k's per hour and there was a current pushing us downstream, what angle would we drift across the river at? Okay, so that could be another useful uh, method or, sorry, that, another useful uh, application of trigonometry. Okay. All right. So this is a little anecdote from my childhood. Um, it's a spinning top. And when I was a kid, I, uh, in year nine actually, just before I learned trigonometry, we had this project to build a spinning top with a lathe, so something that cuts the actual metal. Now I knew it wanted to be one centimeter up and then two centimeters across, but I didn't actually know trigonometry. So I actually stuffed this uh, whole question up and um, worked out the totally wrong angle. So my, the depth of it, the width of it was still two centimeters, but the depth of it was not one centimeter. So that's my lesson learned. And only a few months later, I ended up learning trigonometry and it, and it clicked in my head. I needed to know that idea of angles and side lengths. Okay. Um, so that's pretty much it for today. Uh, here's an important one for you guys to remember as well. This can help you remember it's so katoa. So so means sine equals O over H. Ka means cos equals A over H. And toa means tan equals O over A. So that's a great one to remember. Soka toa. Okay, uh, thanks for watching today. Uh, I really hope um, you got a few things out of it. This was just a really uh, quick example of what trigonometry is all about. In later videos, I'll go through some worked examples with you to help explain this a bit better. Okay, so thanks for watching and definitely subscribe, it's much appreciated. And definitely re uh, leave some comments, questions, and uh, I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Cool, thank you.